a lady's name was given to me. I think it's Ophelia or Priscilla. And this lady is a Nigerian. She's a, a prophetess. And she's the one God has chosen to lead the Assemblies of God Church in Nigeria. I'm giving you the future of Assemblies of God Church in Nigeria. Please, Nigerians, hear me all over the world. Now, can I ask a question? Assemblies of God, do they allow female pastors? Are you Assemblies of God? They allow female pastors. I saw the hierarchy, the general overseers. The, they call, the, are they called geos? So, so pretendants, right? I saw um, a man, Pastor Charles, the man is like a complexion. The one who is in charge of Nigeria. I think there are two divisions in Nigeria, isn't it? Am I right to say there's two divisions? The original, the original Assemblies of God. The breakaway, according to God, is not Assemblies of God. Because God says he has removed their candle stand. Maybe you didn't hear me. Let me say this on authority. Nigerians, hear me. Those of you who are in the branch that broke away from the original, God says you have no candle stand. They are called recalcitrant, rebellious children. So you have followed rebellious pastors who because of their belly and influence and um, they, they felt like they, they were ill-treated because it's like it was our turn to rule and he didn't give us. That's why they broke away. That's what God has shown me. And God says they didn't do it his way. So th that branch, God says he has given them only 50 years and it will collapse. Yeah. So they have already spent some time already. I don't know how many years. How many years now? 10, 20? They have got few, few years. You will see it. And another sign is this. That branch, there will be branches coming out of it to start, start their own. Like that. But it will birth all rebellious branches. But the original service of God, that, that they broke away from is what I'm telling you now. Their general superintendent is like Pastor Chas's complexion. A bit lighter than me. I'm taller than him. He is the one I'm talking about. God is going to remove him because it is his time to be called home. Please hear me. I saw it this morning. I'm not going to lie. But the people who are supposed to be next in command, God spoke to them clearly that there's a woman called Ophelia. I think Ophelia or Priscilla. I was so lazy not to write the name because I was too tired when I woke up. He said he's the one he has chosen, prophetess, to take over the church. And they chuck her out because she's a woman. And because of that, the whole assembly of God collapsed. So please, church, this is what God has shown me about the church, the Assemblies of God church in Nigeria. And I'm concerned. Please pass the message. I don't know them, so I don't know how to reach out to them. I can only give it through this media. And then those of you who know them, pass the message. You know, if you know any Assemblies of God pastor and they call you, pass the message. That's what God has shown me. It's on record so they can see it. God wants a woman to lead the church, but they said no. And it was because of influence and power. It was clear. I saw it. It was influence, power, and money. He said, no, they won't allow. But this woman is so spirit-filled, spirit-led, and so holy, powerful, anointed, and righteous. God says, I've chosen her. And they said, no. And they chuck her out. And the woman, even, she hasn't even talked. She was so quiet. She took it without any pain, without any re 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 resentment, and she left. And she didn't start her own church either. And God collapsed the church because the leaders turned against him. Hallelujah. I saw it. Hey, Bada Bro Shaka.